how do we split stereo into mono in Logic? Well, Logic, in its infinite wisdom, has some pretty illogical ways of doing things. And that's not just me looking for a play on words. It's the truth. There's some ridiculous ways of doing things. There's some fantastic ways, but some stupid ways. So I'm going to split this video into three sections. First of all, I'm going to show you what is really the easiest way to just have either the left or the right of a stereo channel. If that's what you're looking for, fantastic. Watch that and then sign off. Secondly, I'm going to show you my main issue with stereo to mono stuff in Logic and the way that it kind of suggests you should be able to do it, but it actually isn't. It's, it's not actually right. Um, and then number three is a stupid workaround, which kind of achieves the same thing as in number one, um, but it's just stupid and it's ridiculous. Uh, so if you manage to wait way through all three of those, well done. Have a biscuit. Um, let's just jump in. So I've got some uh, some loops here. 12.8 jazzy drum set and 12.8 electric arpeggio. Let's listen to them. Cool, so I've panned the drums to the left and the electric guitar to the right. And I'm gonna take you through all of this process so you're gonna see me actually making the stereo file as well. So I'm gonna select those two and press Control and B and bounce in place. This is now stereo. Include audio tail, include volume and pan information. So what we're gonna get here is a file that has on the left drums, you can see that here, on the right guitar. Cool. All right, simple way of doing this. Simple way of getting it so that we've just got drums and guitars. We're going to duplicate this track by pressing Command and D. I'm going to select this one, which has got the drums on the left, guitar on the right. Hold Alt or Option. People shout at me when I call it Alt, but that's, that's what it says on my keyboard. And then just duplicate it. So we've got two versions of the same thing. What we can do over on the channel, it currently says Stereo. And this one currently says stereo. That's going to be important later on. If we click and hold on that, not only can we make it mono, but we can make it so we can just hear the left channel. And this one, you've guessed it, just hear the right channel. Let's hear those now. Just guitar. And just drums. So you have to double up on channels, which is kind of annoying, um, but you can just select that and then bounce in place again, call that whatever you want to call it. And hey presto, down here, you've got just the drums. So one more time, because Logic kind of throws things around in weird places. If I select what is the guitar, let's call that guitar. Select that, Control and B, let's call that guitar, spelled correctly and let's click OK on that. We've now got a guitar. So we've split those two up and you don't have to do that extra step. You don't have to do bounce in place. You can have them just there if you don't mind the, uh, the visual looking a little bit weird. That's the easiest way I know how to do it. You don't have to do the second step. Keep the first step if you want, but here's the ridiculous side of logic, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of what I just created those two stupid channels, and then let's get rid of the guitar one as well. So we're just left with the original thing. So if I turn this over to stereo, we're left with what we had in the beginning. Now, typically the way that you kind of probably should be able to do this is you have the stereo file selected, go over to your browser, and then select the this is now stereo file, which is this one. Control click, copy and convert files. Now this allows us to do any number of things as long as they have something to do with copying and converting. And um, what we can do is we can take this interleaved stereo file. So that means left and right in the same file. Um, and we can split it to left and right. Well, that's cool. That's a handy thing to be able to do. So let's do that. This is now stereo and it's gonna create two files, one left and one right. Let's just call it something different. Uh, split stereo track whatever, just so we don't get confused. Go and save. Okay. So split stereo track left, split stereo track right. What you're thinking is that you should be able to just drag the left one into Logic and the right one into Logic, and then that will be hunky-dory and you'll have them. Well, that's not the case. If I drag one of them just left, then it drags both of them because it recognizes that there's a left and a right in there. 
Okay, let's see if we can work around that. Let's get uh, audio chat on there. Let's make sure that's mono, that's fine. Let's go to this one and let's even call it something stupid. Something stupid. I can't spell. Something stupid dot left. Let's drag that in. Oh, and now it recognizes it. Okay, so what about the right hand side? Doesn't exist for some unknown reason but it does exist because it's there. So logic kind of gets confused with left and right and then renaming stuff. If I were to keep this as um, split stereo track, can't spell again, track left, and drag it into even that mono track, create another one, call it mono, drag that in, well, Convert track format to stereo. No, we don't want to do that because then we're saying, yes, take the left and right, put them together. Create a new stereo track. No, because I'm just creating a new mono one. So it must be keep track format. It's specifically saying keep the track format. So keep it as mono, just import a mono track. You'll hear the mono sum of stereo regions of this track. Well, that doesn't matter because it's just left, isn't it? It's just one mono file. Okay, keep track format. Oh, it's brought in a stereo file. Brilliant. I don't understand it. It's really annoying, really, really annoying that it does that. The first way that I showed you is, is kind of the ultimate way. And I'm sure with this copy and convert, there are other ways of doing stuff. Um, but if you've got to this point now where everything's just kind of a little bit weird, you can actually trick it into uh, just playing the left channel and indeed bouncing that down. But I don't know why this works. It's ridiculous, really, to be honest. So if we go up to those original files that we had so this is the this is now stereo let's get rid of this uh, stupid one so this is the split stereo track let's just get rid of a load of these so let's duplicate this one so we've got two now so let's make this one play just the left channel and make this one play just the right channel if i just chop a little bit out of this doesn't change the audio just kind of chops it and then select it and then press j Non-contiguous audio regions require the creation of a new audio file. Well, that's okay. Let's click okay. Now, we've got just the drums. Let's do it to this one, which is just the listening to the right-hand channel of it. Okay, press J, create, and now you've got it. So that kind of achieves the same thing as bouncing in place does, but I don't know why it does. It seems, well, I kind of know why it does. It kind of makes sense, but in a really stupid, unbelievable, illogical kind of way. So if you've made it this far, well done. The first thing that I showed you is kind of how to do it. The second thing, and partly the third thing really, are just me having a bit of a moan about how silly some of the things in Logic are. Um, being able to do that with the join tracks, I guess is actually kind of useful in some instances, but if you're purely just trying to split stereo tracks, then you shouldn't have to like chop up an audio region to then put it back together again. That's a bit ridiculous. Um, you should just be able to really go into that copy and convert and do it from there, but that doesn't work in the way that you're kind of expecting it to. Um, the best way you can do it is just duplicating it and just making it so that each track only plays the left or the right. I don't know why it is, but that's just the way it is. Logic is very illogical. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care.